can a passenger safely land a commercial jetliner? Hey, look at that, that's so good, it's working. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hiya, it's Riyadh, Dan's on cam, give us a wave Dan. Okay, I'm in Flywell in the middle of England at the Virtual Aerospace 737 Simulator. Why? Because NCS have challenged me to be unstoppable and to try and land the thing safely and get the fake 200 or so passengers onto the ground in one piece. Can I do it? I don't know. My knowledge is just in geek territory. I play Flight Simulator on my phone every day. I watch air crash investigation all the time, but is that enough? Before I go in and try this crazy challenge, uh, if you want to be unstoppable, up your skills and have an amazing summer with NCS, check out their website. If you're in the UK between 15 and 17, it's a great way to get yourself ready for the work of world. So uh, go and take a look at that. Let's go. Okay, okay, first things first, how do I... Oh. Right, let's just get our bearings. Lights, stuff, throttle, speed brake, flaps, parking brake, fuel to the engines, radio, landing gear, computers I don't know, autopilot, flight stick, rudder pedals, window. <laughs> oh my God. This is so exciting. I'm terrified. I'm actually physically shaking. I've wanted to say this forever. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is RK Airlines. Both of our pilots have had food poisoning. I'm a passenger. I have very limited flight experience and I need help to land safely. Right, okay. So first thing is to stay calm, okay? I can currently see uh, your aircraft on my radar. The autopilot is under control of the aircraft at the moment. And I'm going to talk you through how to fly this aircraft down. What's your name, buddy? My name is John. John, John, we're going to be friends forever if we get through this. OK, so the autopilot's uh, got command of the aircraft, uh, the direction, the altitude and the speed, OK? John, I'm done with autopilot. I'm going to turn the autopilot off. Uh, do not turn the autopilot off. John, I am now the captain. I am turning the autopilot off. Okay. I really recommend you do not do that. I want to fly it manually. Okay, I'll come to a compromise with you. We'll turn the autopilot off, but we'll keep the auto thrust on so the plane's speed stays the same, but I'm turning it and Fine, turn off the autopilot. Leave the auto throttle armed. I'm gonna hit disengage on autopilot. Okay, I'm flying. I'm, I have the aircraft, I'm flying the aircraft. Okay, I want you to turn left onto a heading of zero eight zero. Okay, we're turning, we're turning, we're turning. Woo oh, I need to get the seatbelt on. <laughs> it works. And I'm gonna turn the smoking off because you know if you're gonna potentially pass away at my hands, I want you to at least have one puff before you do. Okay, so let's just focus on flying the aircraft here, okay. Well, I just want my, pa my passengers or my command and I want them to have a good time, John. That's fine. John? Yeah? Do you have a girlfriend? I do, yes, Riyadh. Have you ever... Have you ever considered a... No, I haven't, Riyadh. Okay. And we're going to continue bringing the aircraft down, Riyadh, to 3,000 feet, please. 3,000 feet, okay. Mayday Romeo Kilo. Go ahead. Will you tell my mother I love her? I will do Riyadh. And I died doing what I love. Yes, I will do Riyadh. I'm struggling to get that speed to go down naturally. Should I deploy the, the air, air brakes for a minute? You can do, yeah. Oh, yes. Ooh, that felt good. That felt good. Wow, that's working. We are shedding those nuts. Okay, set the flap to five, please. Flaps five. And speed 180. Can you see the landing gear? Yes. Lever. You want me to drop the gear? Oh, I've always wanted to do that. Okay, let's focus here, Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. And then put the speed to 160. Speed down to 160, maybe Romeo Kilo. We are low. I can see houses, I can see children playing. Very shortly ahead of you, you should see a runway. I think I see it, I think, yeah. What's the name, the number of that runway, just so I know? It's 27 right. 27 right, at 
Heathrow. At he London Heathrow! Hey, baby! I would prefer London City, it's just easier for me to get home. Can we divert? Uh, we can't, I'm afraid, Riyadh. It will be uh, very difficult for you to get your, this, air, this type of aircraft into London Oh, City. we're too big. Can I uh, turn on the landing lights? Yes, you can do. Okay, so when I touch down, just before I'm going to disengage the auto thrust, pull it back to idle, bring out the reverse thrusters, speed brakes will go down automatically. I'll be using my rotor pedals to keep her in the middle, and I'll be using my toes to engage the toe brakes. The auto brakes will be doing their thing as well. So we've got like three or four different things stopping us. That's completely correct, yes. John, I wasn't talking to you. I'm just acknowledging you, Ria. <laughs> Here we go. This is it. This is it. Runway is in sight. I'm centered. Descending through 1,400 feet. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> Did my mother just text me while I'm trying to land this? Mom, go away. I'm busy. Made a Romeo Kilo. Yes. Right. You need to be prepared to keep your right hand on the thrust levers. Okay. Four arms. I can see you're a little bit low. Just raise the nose. Okay. Hold the altitude that you've got. 300. I'm going to disengage the auto thrust. Disengage the auto thrust. 100. Okay, 100. Okay, at 30 feet above, when you hear the robotic voice say 30, I'd like you to gently pull 30. the power back. Just raise 40. the nose very slightly. 30. Flaring. 90. Flaring, flaring. 10. Get down, get down, girl. Come on. Alright. Okay. Reverse thrust. Centered. Okay. Get the nose wheel down. That's it. And press the toe brakes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Stow the... Auto thrust. Zero knots, parking brake set. Oh my god, I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Oh my god! Oh, I'm in the center as well. Oh my god, I did it! Dan! Oh. Wow! Oh, made it Romeo Kilo. Yes. John, I love you. Very well done, Riyadh. Very good job. Do you love me too? Very well done, Riyadh. Oh. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was amazing! Yes, 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 we did it! NCS, be unstoppable! Oh my god, I actually feel like crying. That's so emotional. I can't believe I did that. Well, you're proud of me? I did it! Everyone's safe, everyone's alive, I feel exhilarated. I guess the main question is why did I do it? Well, since I was a kid, I've always dreamt of being a pilot. It just shows unless you push yourself to give it a go, you really don't know what your own personal limit is. I, a random, normal dude on the street, was able to land a commercial jet just through my own interest and a little bit of help from a hilarious air traffic controller. Anything is possible then if I can do that. So if you're 15 to 17 and you're based in the UK, why not give it a go? Challenge yourself, sign up to NCS. It's a four week experience throughout the summer. You'll be away from home. You'll be trying new experiences, learning new skills, meeting new people. And in the meantime, adding so much to your CV so that when you're out there looking for work, you're going to be head of the pack. I also really, really want to know if you've done NCS in the past or if you are going to do it this year, hit me up on social media. It's at Riyadh K on Instagram, Twitter, here on YouTube. I want to know exactly how it was for you and what your version of flying a 737 was. How did you challenge yourself? Thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun to make. I can't tell you. I really can't. I'm about to go and watch it again myself. That's how much of a loser I am. Make sure you hit subscribe for more videos just like this right here on the channel and for some very 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 special that's on the way soon um, making some documentary type stuff right here on the channel can't say anymore and um, it will make you laugh and make you cry that's for sure okay love you bye